Ryan, Ben, Ryan, Ben, Ryan, Ben. Not a kid. Hey guys, Ben here with Ryan. Uh, movie today that we've got to uh, review is Pacific Rim. We've just seen it and basically just it starts off with a um, the aliens invading. You don't really get much of a backstory. It just shows you the aliens coming out of the Earth's fucking core in the ocean. Uh, what were they called? The plates or something? Maybe you want to fill me in on that? They were, they were called the plates, the, the Earth's plates. Some science thing. The, the, tec- the tectonic plates. The tectonic the, plates. Uh, that's in it. The, in, the, in gravity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You fucking science do you? So, I forgot you did science. Alright, so, yeah, some tectonic plates from the Earth's core, and these monsters originated through the... Well, in some fucking... There's also a wormhole that's there as well. Somehow they opened up opened up a portal. Uh, we'll get into this later on, but... Okay. Anyway, that's how the monsters get in. And then the first scene is the monsters coming out, and then it's narrated by the the uh, black guy in the movie. <laughs> Honestly, don't It was lie. not Morgan Freeman. <laughs> it wasn't Morgan Freeman. It was the guy that played the... Uh, who played the... <laughs> I don't know who it is, No, no, I was going to say, you know, who's that guy in 4? He plays the, the guard in 4 oh, that the, guards the... What's it called? I don't know. You know that chamber where they, tra- they the, teleport the, chamber? Um, the, the... The... Bridge. He's the only black guy in 4. <laughs> there is no other black guys in 4. Oh, he's the Okay, so there you go. The... I'm not being racist, but the only black legit, guy in that's this movie, it. too. He is, too. <laughs> God damn, racist people sometimes, tell you what. Anyway, yes, he's the only black guy in that. And anyway, he's, he narrates it saying that, uh, uh, the monsters the are attacking... The Bifrost. Bifrost. Yes, Bifrost. that's right. He's the Bifrost, uh, Bifrost. keeper. The humans start doing, which is basically just start building mech robots, these massive things they like to call ligers. No, is it ligers? <laughs> or Jaegers? Jaegers. I keep saying ligers. So, Ben, what were your likes about this movie? Alright, my likes, CGI's. CGI was fucking amazing. It's, if, if I had to give it the, the big, best praise, if you've seen, um, if you've seen Man of Steel, I would say that definitely it is up there with Man of Steel CGI. It's that amazing. Um, what else? Let's see. I, I like the, uh, I like the black guy. <laughs> For who played the uh, Bifrost Keeper in uh, 4. He was awesome. Uh, apart from that, really weren't any versatile characters. The The first character that died, who was the, who was brothers with the uh, the main protagonist, um, he was, he's an actor in, uh, what's that show that I also like? Fucking, the terrorist one. <coughs> terrorist attacking, you know, he's a ginger. Oh my god, I can't believe I, I did not know who any actor in that movie was. Homeland. Okay, he's he's the uh, protagonist's best friend in Homeland who ends up sleeping with his wife. That guy is the only good actor in that entire movie and he ends up dying within the first 20 minutes of the movie. So What did you dislike about this what movie? What I disliked about that movie, I'll agree with Ryan because Ryan's going to say the same thing, the acting in this movie was fucking McShithouse. Alright, the fake Aussie accents by the two... Co- I don't even know if they're Aussies or not. That was just over... The- if they are Aussies, fucking shame on them. They just cheesed the shit out of our accent. There was no need to do that. They could have just said, Oh, mate, mate, Barbie, Barbie, and just repeated that the entire fucking movie, and it would have been just as bad as what they did. Oh, it was terrible. Okay, besides that overreacting, everything else... Fucking all the acting was terrible. Oh, second thing that pissed me off the most was the female, uh, what was her name? It began, began with M. Ma- Don't know. Markel. So, it's the a- only Asian person in the movie. He was the only female Asian in the movie, or well, not the female Asian, because they were in Tokyo for half the, the Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, she's the, also the uh, second pilot of the protagonist fucking ship, the robot, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, yeah. Um, she ends up nearly costing them the entire mission by having like some breakdown while they try to get fitted in the suits that one scene just shitted me completely because it just brings back the stereotype in most movies that we see that are horrors and whatnot that females usually end up ruining it for everyone else <laughs> I'm not being sexist but when I please just put a put a male who's a wimp and just that ruins it for once I'm sick of seeing females in the same fucking role just irritating um and that's really the only two things I had with the acting and, and the, who they chose to play that role for the female. Yeah. 
Um, honestly, honestly, they were the only two things I hated. As I said, the cons were the CGI. I only wanted to see this movie for the action. And honestly, if I could see it again, I'd definitely see it again. It, it's The CGI far outweighs the, uh, the, the terrible fucking acting and the dialogue from the entire cast. So that's that's pretty much all I've got to say about that. Alright, bud, so what did you think of the movie? What were your... We'll go with your likes for starters, because I know you don't have many. <laughs> I liked the CGI. <clears throat> the robots looked really good. They looked really, really good. The sound, the theme, the like the uh, OST, like the score, that was really good music. He didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't say that. Um, that was really cool music. Um, the monsters sounded really well. That one when they fight in the city... And it's just roaring. It's really good sound design. Um, they call the kaiju's kaiju. Yeah, that's kaiju. it. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, so they were good. Um, the action scenes were good for what action scenes they were. Um, your your cons. Dislikes. Well, where to start? I didn't like how the movie just gave you a two minute backstory on what happened where they were like you know oh in the beginning you know they came from the ground and they did this and it took six weeks to beat them and that and that. then we built machines and stuff like I wanted to see you know humans you know making breakfast you know talking to their friends and then boom shit comes out of the water and everyone dying and you know instead of being told that everyone died that way and um that was one two the acting was terrible <clears throat> the we'll both agree the two brothers at the start, they looked exactly alike. It took me half the movie to figure out which brother was pulled out of that thing because I couldn't tell which one was which. That's how little these characters made me care. Are you at saying all. all white people look alike? <laughs> <laughs> you racist bastard. <laughs> you racist bastard. Um, okay, the, the Asian girl, she had the stupidest look on her face the whole movie. And yeah, she, true. like, when she nearly killed everyone... She complains. She she cries. She's oh, it's terrible. Just a terrible stereotypical actress. Role for a female everything. I think she's the girl out of the Wolverine too. Oh, fuck's sake. She's gonna be like. So I'm gonna put through that shit. I think. Um, okay. <laughs> and so if you're wrong, then if I'm wrong, <laughs> yeah, I'm just I don't think she's listening to this. <laughs> what if she is? <laughs> what if she's like? Okay. Um, the the accents, like you said, those accents were terrible. I didn't know, like, they were... I didn't know if they were UK they or... Were worse. It? it sounded like the Hugh Jackman in, um... Uh... Don't you... You uh, watch your... Watch your words carefully, Persian. Whatever <laughs> you're lost. That, um, Christmas... The Guardians. He plays the oh, Easter Bunny. Owls. No, he No, he plays the Easter Bunny that's Australian. And it's real Aussie, 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 mate. It's like that. It's in him. The Guardians. In, it's That's called no, it's called something. The Guardians. I don't know what it's called, right, but whatever. it's yeah. got Guardian. In it. It's about Santa, Jack Frost, all of them, and he plays the Easter Bunny. It sounded the whole movie sounded like that. Um, oh, yeah. They didn't really make you care about any of the characters, really. <laughs> really. The best actor in that movie to me, besides Idris Elba, was <laughs> the <laughs> Asian girl who's crying in the street. She had more emotion in her, like, two-minute scene, then half that acting thing. And then, like, the main guy, when they're like, you got to get back in the anger, he's like, I can't let anybody in my head again. I can't deal with these feels. <laughs> Why can't you deal with these feels? <laughs> it, it was, you didn't see enough backstory. It was so... You're sorry for him. Yeah, it was so stupid. Died. You didn't see how he coped after it. You didn't see him mourning. No, it just went... Just, it was five, five years, years later, later, and he's building a building. Yeah, he's building that a pissed building. me off, too, how they had these giant robots, and their idea was to build walls to keep the giant enemies out, and they were just smashing through walls anyway. It made no sense. I reckon what the- and what annoys me, number one, about Alien movies, is that we we win. That shits me. I think if, if aliens came down tomorrow, we'd be fucked. They would destroy everything. They would kill everybody. They would take the like the people who survive as slaves. We would be doomed. We'd be harvested. They'd take all our shit. They'd leave. We'd be here. We'd die. That'd be it. Well, I don't like leave. how we've got these secret plans and how we've got a guy who, who who knows that if we go in there and 
this and we could blow this up and we could do this we could do I don't like that like War of the Worlds that that was good until we beat them with oxygen that is fucking terrible you don't know that. You fucking seem to think you're a scientist. You know exactly all the but, alien life forms but the, and all their weaknesses. But the idea is that we can... The idea is that if they can get this far, they have better technology than we do. So, just... Like, why isn't there... Uh, the, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen many alien movies, but there's no real movie that I know of that you do... Like, besides, like, Knowing, which... <laughs> shit movie that was. At least the whole world... <laughs> Blue. That wasn't aliens, but at least the whole world kind of everyone that got fucked in that movie. Yeah, yeah. Everyone died in that movie. That I want a movie where none of us make it out alive. We're all done. We're all dead. So they're they're the the, the outline of what I didn't like about this movie. But there you go. So out of ten bananas, how many bananas? Did you I'm gonna be generous and say also seven out of ten bananas. Her acting alone destroyed three of it. Of, uh, ten bananas. What would you give it? I'm gonna be generous, and I'm gonna give this two. <laughs> I'm gonna give this four and a half out of ten, because the CGI and the soundtrack and the soundtrack was so good, but the, that Asian girl, the the story being rushed, the story not being thought out, the idea that we beat them, this is just ruined ruin it for me. So, yeah, that's it. Fair enough, guys. There you have it. Please take off the departing in sight.